I'm standing here with Wolves manager Gary O'Neill at Ballers Still. Gary, first of all, a decent little stint out there tonight. Yeah, 30 minutes, didn't get taken off, so that's a bonus. I must have been doing something right. Um, Still got the legs. Yeah, they were right, considering yeah. I've literally not played since I retired, not at all. Did so, you get involved uh, in the training? Then? Not really, a little bit on the sides, but not um, only if like someone goes in injured or yeah. I have to step in, nothing like. Yeah, that's a bit different to Premier League training. That <laughs> was a really good facility. When you came into Wolves originally, did you either were you given a, a sort of target position wise, or did you have one in your head? Are you there thereabouts? Yeah, no, the club of um, club have obviously changed direction a little bit from the owners have invested an awful lot in the club in, over the recent years, and um, they're not in a position to do that at this moment. So um, obviously, we had to strip the squad back quite a bit, reduce the wage bill heavily, made a big profit, sort of hundred million pound profit in player sales. Um, so basically do you think you can keep this group up without adding to it was the task um, I thought it may be tough I thought we may have some tough moments but um, boys have been incredible to get to 46 points as quickly as we did was an incredible effort from them so um, we'll be tough again next year everyone will look to improve so we need to get away in the summer try and do some business be clever with what we can bring in um, I'm really looking forward to it looking forward to Anfield looking forward to one big last push and then looking forward to my first pre-season with a, with a group. Yeah, from a, from a personal point of view, be quick to mention the players here and how well they've done. But, but there are lots of uh, people in the, the football community, former players, pundits and, and those in the know, are, are heaping praise on you as well from a personal point of view. Do you feel that after Bournemouth, you said it, you sort of alluded to yourself, uh, before about coming into Wolves and perhaps not being perceived as the most fashionable appointment. Yeah. Do you feel like you've changed a few minds in your work you've done at Molyneux? Um, I feel like it's important when you're in it not to get carried away with either, really, because um, I'm definitely not as good as some people would have been saying when we were winning and, and I won't be as bad as some people will be saying when we're losing. Um, so no, just trying to keep my feet on the ground really and you know, I'm still only 20 months in I think maybe slightly less into being a permanent manager all of my learning has been done at the highest level um, in a real cutthroat league ruthless league so um, I need to improve a lot always um, I'm pleased with the job I've done of course because I went into a dressing room full of big players big egos internationals um, played for big clubs and they were unsure of what was going on at the moment and we had to unite them, get them together, get them pushing in the same direction. And that's not easy, it's not easy. So me, the coaching staff, the guys that work with us, Matt Hobbs, everyone did an awfully good job start of the season to get everyone on track and pushing in the right direction. So pleased, um, but disappointed that it's tailed off. So as always in football, you need to find something that gets you going again. The fact that we've tailed off motivates me to, to make sure we push harder. Well, you talk about your, your own sort of uh, wanting to improve. As you mentioned, as everyone knows, all summers, all summers are taken up by, by transfers. Uh, are, are you confident that you'll you'll be given the resources over the summer to, to improve where you need to? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think we'll be blessed with resources as in money to spend. I think we'll um, we have a lot of players out on loan, um, so hopefully either some of them can come back and help us, or some of them will be able to to sell and, and that will help us. Um, like I said, the owners have put an awful lot of money in over recent years and they're not in a position at this moment to put loads in, so they'll be able to help us with little bits, but yeah, we won't be going out and signing 40 million pound number nines and you know, we'll have to be really clever and cute in what we're able to, um, to recruit. Um, and that's part of the challenge, you know, so certain managers obviously won't want to work under those sort of circumstances and will think it's, it's tough and difficult and it's something that I'm really looking forward to and relish and will there be tough moments and when I face criticism I'm sure I will but we dig in and uh, we try and have another successful season next year.